I did want to comment on something I saw about, you know, I noticed A.J. Henning was not out there as much on offense. I think the only time I saw him was when he caught a kick return. Um, and that, that is interesting. I'm not exactly sure that why he was not out there as much compared to previous weeks. Um, they, were, they were using him, like, very similar, yeah, in a Debo role in mm-hmm. terms of sometimes he'll be in the backfield as a running back, sometimes he'll be in the slot. So I don't know. Um, you know, he definitely is on the field, so it can't be a health issue. Um probably a play calling it has to be play calling so um you know i I saw andrew i saw andrew anthony make an appearance today got a catch (laughs) yeah i think they Uh, missed him in the back of the end zone on one throw yeah so i mean uh, i don't know i mean but it's good you know what man i uh, i i it i don't love talking negatively about any like particular guys but i just I was talking to a friend who uh, actually would like to be on the stream one time, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but I, I just told him, I'm like, with how last year went at the receiver rule and Ronnie getting injured, you know, first, second game of the season, like, I just expected more from Cornelius Johnson. And yeah. I, I, even today, like, he had three catches for 27 yards. And, and there was one play in particular, it wasn't a catch, but it was when, like, J.J. kind of threw – through kind of a, a 50-50 ball and I, and you I just for me and maybe I am asking for too much but I would just love to see him perform better like just go get the you know what I mean like go get the ball like it's a 50-50 ball you got to be aggressive you, you want to see him make a play you want to see Yeah him man like I just yeah. I, yeah. it's it's yeah. it's tough you know what I mean like I cuz I think he can do it you know yeah. I think he can do it I and maybe I don't know maybe I'm just off Which but I, I just would have loved to see him do a little more yeah, but you know who who did make a play today? Your senior leader, Ronnie Bell. You know, yes. Ronnie, Ronnie Bell made some big time plays today. He 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 did what his role is as the most senior guy on his team when they need a big time play. There one really good shot down the field. It went to him, uh, and it was actually back to back plays in which he caught the ball. So, um, you know, he I can't say enough about you know good about him, man. So we're Cornelius Johnson that has not quite at least it has appeared thus far. Um, it could change off the course of the year. Has not taken a step forward. Having Ronnie Bell back has at least given this team at least someone they can trust consistently on the outside. So, um, look, you will hope throughout the course of the year more guys tend to show themselves up, uh, sh- uh, show themselves. Look, and I didn't finish this thought when we were talking about Eric All. Look, Shoemaker, uh, or uh, uh, look, or school, uh, sh- yeah, Shoemaker, mm-hmm. or however you say his name, I think it's like that. Um, yeah. You know, he has shown himself to be very adequate at the position. You know, call a touchdown today. He's run blocking well. He's called – he had six or seven catches today. So, yeah. I would not – I wouldn't go as far as say that they won't miss Eric all. You certainly will. Uh, but, you know, I feel pretty confident as, as long as uh, Shoemaker is out there that they have a very reliable target in a tight end position. So, that's a good thing. Um, that if Eric all is gone, that, you know, all is not lost at that position. Um, I would like you to address the comment that I have highlighted. Mark Spaniola says it was a big a win against what? the contender. Uh, a contender Dre, your what? your thoughts? What fourth place in the Big Ten East? Fifth place in the Big no, Ten I, East? No, I mean a contender. I would I would think a contender for for winning the Big Ten. Mark, don't do that to yourself. Now let's punt the brakes here, baby. Now now look, see this is what we do sometimes as fans where. <laughs> When our team is struggling, when our, we're in a game that we don't understand, that we try to rationalize it with sometimes we try to pull things, don't make Maryland into something they're not. Now, look, <laughs> I said it earlier. Maryland is better than we thought. They are certainly better than they were last year. So let's not elevate Maryland to being some kind of 9-10 win football team. They are not. Okay. So uh, D2K2. Says if Maryland is six and one in three weeks, we will look at this game different. Now, I have pulled up Maryland's schedule for the next three weeks. They are uh, home against Michigan State on August, or, uh, October first. Then they are home against Purdue. Then they are away to Indiana. Are you going to look at Maryland any different if they are six and one? Then no, no, because Michigan is better than Maryland. And I believe Michigan is, is, is still, even if even if that is the case, I still believe that Michigan is at least a two touchdown, two touchdowns better than Maryland. I believe that wholeheartedly. On paper, we are definitively definitively better team. 
That is, that's just what it is. Now, that's not to say that Maryland's bad. Like, I think the, the answer is more in the middle. It, it's they're, – they're better than they were last year. They had a winning season last year. So, what were they, 7-5? and five? You know, they, they could be – they can flirt with eight to nine wins this year, fine. You want to say a good year for them is going nine and three, fine. I think Michigan is a, a 10 to 11 win team at the least or 10 win team. We're a better Dude, team than them. I'm so looking at Maryland's schedule. They – goodness gracious. I mean, this does not get any easier – so you get home Michigan State, home Purdue at Indiana, home Northwestern. You got to travel to Wisconsin, but you have a bye week before that. Then you have at Penn State, home to Ohio State, and then home to Rutgers. I mean, goodness gracious. Even if you say they lose the, the Wisconsin, the Penn is, State, Ohio State, that's four losses. 